So you come to you come to a, to a work to a work site and you have different tasks that are sent from your head office. So let's say we, we want to change a broken pipe, a section of a broken pipe. So we see it. So you take your machine down to the to the place where you need to change it. Once you get there, you would put this uh, uh, scanner into the floor. Okay. And it will scan the floor for you. Then you know exactly what's under the floor. So it gives you a really good idea of the amount of rocks there are and if there are some trees or whatever happens. So in that case, the ultimate route is a two-hour route, but you're gonna hit the trees. And maybe maybe the tree is an asset that you don't want to destroy. So you have an alternate uh, an alternate way, which is a three-hour a three-hour operation. Okay. So in that case you can you can actually try it. So you look at the machine. And it will really show show you what it's going to do before it does it. Oh, wow. And that really allows you to maybe modify it. Let's say that the pile is not convenient there. You could, you could actually go back in the software and address it with the pile on the other side. If somebody comes around the machine in the safety area, it stops. And when the person leaves, it resumes. So really, by, by having this, uh, this little... Uh, a schematic before actually doing the work, it really ensures you that you're doing it in a really consistent way and you always uh, you always do it in the most efficient way. Efficient way. And uh, well, what's really good is also that once you're done, it's, uh, it tells you when you're done and that's being shared with uh, your head office. So ah. you know exactly how long the asset is going to be busy for. And once you're done, the test completed, it sends that to your head office and they can put you in some other jobs. Great. Thanks so much. Ah, you're welcome.